Yo guys, what is good? Actually, today with the second video, I got asked how I did this donation board here. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can integrate such a board into your game as well. It's pretty easy actually. So let's just get right into it. So guys, I am in a new place right now and I will show you how exactly you can do this. So I will leave the link to the model into, uh, in the description of this video, also in the Discord. So make sure you also join the Discord. Uh, there's also two giveaways going on right now in the Discord. So if you want some free Robux, then make sure you join the Discord server. Um, also, I will leave a link to the game uh, that I showed you just now into the description as well. So make sure you also check this out. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So I have the board here. It is by their name is uh, Altis Corporation. And yeah, we are just going to insert it into the game. It has eight scripts. So there we are. Uh, it looks like this. We can just open it up real quick. Uh, there's a thing called delete me. You can just delete this one. Uh, then you put the boards thing just in the workspace, which it is. You can delete the thumbnail camera and you can also delete the readme script. So everything you need to do now is just go to the game settings right here. Save your game to Roblox. I'm going to just save it to Roblox real quick. Um, and just turn this off just like this. Then you can close this off again, then you hit back in, and then you go to monetization and just click on this create right here for a developer product. Then we can edit this right here and I'm gonna just name this one or maybe like five and then this five as well, just like this. And then in the monetization here, we can copy the ID to our clipboard. And uh, then we want to go in the product module script just like here and there is everything explained very quickly and um, basically this is the product price and here you just paste the id and you basically do this for every single thing so you go back in the game settings and create a new developer product for for instance 10 robux and then you go back into it and then you copy the idea id here as well just like this uh, you paste it in and that is basically everything for this video um, if you want to add more products for instance if you want to have a 500 thing just copy it paste it and then change this number here to 500 that is pretty much everything make sure your game has uh, in the security has http requests and studio access to api services enabled and then it should work perfectly if you join the game though um you will see that this does not work because i forgot to turn on the http request my bad also the api services uh so when, uh, when we go into the game right now you can clearly see that this is loading uh so this is actually not working because we are currently in roblox studio so let me quickly switch games and i'm gonna be right back so we are just in game right now and as you can see this board actually works just fine let me quickly donate five robux to see if it works so i just bought five robux and then ju let's just wait for it to load also here if you press on the cogwheel you can do different things like the refresh time in minutes the list size you can set this to 20 and then press on save and when it will refresh the next time you will see there will be a top 20 donators so um, also, you can see all the Roblox, uh, Roblox that got into your account in your pending Roblox. Um, yeah, so let's just wait till it refreshes. So it just refreshed and as you can see, I am at the top place with five Roblox donated and I'm dancing here. So this thing actually works now. So you will find the link to it in my Discord server. And yeah, that was it for this video. Thanks for checking in.